how do we go about beating Italy? Uh, it's it's going to be tough uh, no matter what happens. I think that uh, obviously Nick Mallett's put uh, a real challenge out there. Talking what do you about mean the front by row. saying that? I, I guess maybe he, he's trying to do two things, really serve up a challenge and, and convince people, including his own people, that, that they can uh, get the better at the front in the front row and maybe try to convey a message to Jonathan Kaplan, who will be refereeing the match, to, <laughs> that uh, if the scrum goes down, it certainly wasn't them because they're the f better front row. I, I, I don't know, but he's obviously... Uh, Try to play a few mind games before yeah. uh, before the game kicks off. But what about continuity, the speed and pace? Now, Dunedin, we have a roof, so we won't be troubled by weather. Isn't that a perfect condition when Leif Allen want to go wide and run? Yeah, the way they've been playing, I think it will suit them down to the ground. I think uh, also Italy have, have uh, less time, two days less to recover. They started to look pretty tired toward the end of that game, and I think that will really... Um, buffer Ireland's chances. Yeah. They'll be a little yeah. bit fresher coming into the game. They've had a little bit more time to prepare, and and uh, I, I think if they can get the tempo into their game in a, yeah. in a quality stadium, that's going to obviously be dry. Uh, and it's the tempo that will eventually leave holes in the Italians. You think? Well, I, I think just on sort of past experience of viewing the Italians and and having watched a number of them in yeah. the in the French league, particularly yeah. guys like Mirko Bergamasco, uh, Garcia. Gonzalo uh, Canale, they tend to get a bit impulsive. Orkira as well is, is not a very strong defender. So I think if they can get that tempo, um, you know, I, I think they can certainly challenge that back division. Now, last time, David, it was a, a Roland O'Gara drop goal, if I correct, served us. W were they much better? Have they improved over the years? Or were we poor the last day? Um, it's probably a mixture of both. I think we were, our discipline probably let us down, certainly the first three or four games of Six Nations last year. Um, and certainly on that game as well. Um, they invariably take a scalp or two. They obviously took France last in year. Six Nations, yeah. yeah. In, in, in the Six Nations, and they, uh, you know, could have almost uh, this taken is the ours as well. For, so, it? yeah, they, they always have a big game in them. Um, and just going on to, to where we should play them is probably, you know, we should take them through phases and um, and uh, get continuity and, and tire them out. And hopefully, because... I've played under the roof before, and it actually there is a lot less oxygen in the air. It's a little bit like playing because at of the roof, is there? Yeah, well, some, what I, what I've noticed in in the past, yeah. Um, no, I can only go on on the millennium, but uh, um, it certainly seems to be you know. And it affects you in the last 15, 20. I think yeah, I think it's it's quite energy sapping, and uh, you almost feel like you're playing at altitude. Um, I suppose you, you think of that yeah. many people breathing in the same air. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, I think uh, it'll it'll probably. Uh, a plan to, to maybe go through the phases and, and create the space for the backs. Now, Frankie, uh, in matters of front row, who better than yourself to, to, to be able to say, our scrum has improved considerably, and Italy has something of a one-trick pony, are they not? I mean, if those scrums don't work, what's next? Yes, they are. I mean, I, I'd agree with you. And that's interesting, Mallet's comments there. Mallet is no fool. I mean, he, is, he sees Ireland, and he sees the strengths of Ireland in their backs, and that's where Ireland have caused the problems over the years. It would suit him ideally if Ireland got into a big arm wrestle in the scrummaging side of things. Now, I think we would, we would overcome that, but that would suit him. I think it would suit us to be, uh, to be spinning the ball a bit more wide. But the danger that we don't want to do here is to try to go too wide too early. We need to build up the phase. We need to you know, confront them initially mm. and then go wide at the right time. But Nick Mallett is saying that he's trying to tease Ireland into saying, all right, we're, you know, yeah, we're stronger than you and get involved in a big scrummaging bout, yeah. which, OK, I think we could win, but you know, there's easier ways to do it, you know. Now, they have at number eight, Joe. Uh, one of the